jack pike in the shallows. Hmm. Beautiful. This afternoon, we had a meeting arranged to meet up with John Cunningham, who holds a master's degree in history. He's the world's authority on this Fermanagh Lakeland region's history. And this was something that is very close to my heart. And I was really looking forward to this for a very, very long time. And uh, today we're going to have a chat with John on camera about Bow Island, the history of Bow Island, and in particular, these two stone figures that date back, we believe, in excess of 2,000 years. We're here today with John Cunningham, a well-known historian from Belik, County Fermanagh, who's the author of over 40 books on the history of this area, and in particular, Ulster. John, thank you very much for visiting with us today and meet up with Dennis and I. Hi, John. Nice, nice, to, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Thank you for your John, time. John, we're standing on this stone figure. Yes, this is a uh, called the Janus figure, uh, or even miscalled the Janus figure, because uh, Janus was a god figure of the Romans, and the Romans didn't come to Ireland. But any any statue with two heads, two faces on it, is uh, called a, a Janus figure because the Roman god Janus had two heads, and one head looked out of the house to promote uh, to safeguard the house, and the other looked into the house to promote peace and harmony inside the house. Uh, and uh, the ancient Celts believed that uh, the power of the soul and the power of the body resi resided in the head. So whenever they defeated somebody important in battle, uh, they took off their head and brought it back and put it outside their house as a, a token of adding that person's power to their power. 